In this short video, we're going to show you how to use the Redefine Incidents tool in order to redefine your starting and ending end of your members. Now, there are several different items in STAD Pro that are going to be assigned to the starting versus ending end of the members. These could include things like assigning web tapered eye flange sections in the properties area. Also, things like offsets and member and fixity get assigned to the starting and ending end of the member. And there may be times where it might be convenient to be able to control what your starting end of your member is after you've already created the member in your model. In our main view window, we're going to go ahead and click in there right now and go to Shift E on our keyboard. And we're going to be able to turn on our member ends. The default coloring is that the starting end is going to be indicated in green while the ending end is indicated in blue. Now let's take a look at our columns for example. I can see that the starting end of this column is at the base of the structure where the starting end of the column for this one is more at the roof level. I may want to redefine these if I'm going to be assigning the same section properties or the same type of specifications to each of these columns. Now for this particular model, I've gone ahead just for illustration purposes and assigned a tapered steel section to the members. Now tapered sections are defined with section properties at the starting and ending end and then the program will interpolate the values between those two ends to determine the overall structural properties of the member. Now without redefining the incidences, let's go ahead and see what the 3D rendering of this is. And you can see that this is not quite the geometry I'm looking for. I want the wider end of this section, this beam section to be over at the column connection. And then same with this column, this doesn't look quite right. This needs to be flipped as well. Now, instead of assigning different section properties to different members based on their starting and ending ends, I can go ahead and redefine their incidences. So for this particular model, I want to change this member and I want to change this member. Basically, I want them flipped. So now to switch my member ends, once I've made my selection, I'm going to go to the Utilities tab and I'm going to go to my Beam Tools. And here I'm going to select my Beam Incidents option. I'm going to select the program to switch the incidents of selected beams and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now I can see that basically the beam members have been redrawn and the starting ends and the ending ends have been basically switched. If I wanted to take a look at this in three dimensions, I'm going to go to my 3D view and this is exactly as I had intended it. So this might save you a little bit of time or confusion later on if you want to basically control your starting and ending ends of your members after your members are created. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.